So let's address where this compressor is going. Is it going indoors or outdoors? Uh, generally speaking, this is a demographic question. Where, where are you located? Are you located in Florida or Texas where it's going to be uh, warm most of the year and we don't have to worry about freezing temperatures? Or is it going to be in, in Canada or upper Michigan to where we've got to worry about really cold temperatures a lot of the part of the year? So th those are the first things we need to find out. If it's going to be in a hotter environment in southern United States, then it can definitely go outside. And the thing that we're concerned with more than anything is just a, a sun and a rain shield over the top of the machine. And that's just to protect it from the, the radiating heat of the sun during the hottest days of the year. And then also, of course, we wanna to try to keep water off it as much as possible. And then when you're talking about cold environments, when we're placing a unit outdoors, we're looking at um, potential freezing of coolers, of separator tanks on a rotary screw, on uh, the, the reciprocating pump, oil reservoir, and then also drains that release all the moisture. So we've got to be able to either provide a space heater in a, in a small enclosed uh, shed that would be located outside, or if it's direct open to the environment, we need to make sure that we heat trace or heat tape some of those vital components to make sure that they stay above 40 degrees Fahrenheit.